As a YouTuber or content creator, it is very important to immerse your audience into the content you create for them. Now, of course, a good way to do this is by adding music to your videos. Now, unless you're a part of the Mic'd Up cult, believe it or not, a lot of people don't like just a commentary video. To me, with music in the background of a video, it helps kind of eliminate that weird, awkward feeling when watching a video. It's not like you're just y'all two in the room. I, I probably don't sound like I know what I'm talking about, but that's just what I think inside my head, so you're gonna have to go with it. You're watching my video. I'm sorry. There's a lot more reasons you should add music to your videos, but to me, that's the main important one. I don't want to hear just a straight commentary video because imagine you're just watching this right now and it's just me talking like this isn't this kind of awkward that it's just me talking to you there's no background music you don't have anything else to like distract your mind from just me and you it's just us two see it's kind of awkward if you get what i mean i i don't know i always feel like there has to be some type of music in the background unless it's one of my mic'd up videos where i'm out in public because you don't need the background music because it's you know you have environmental mu uh, sound effects but for videos like this or if you're wanting to instruct or you know tell a story or stuff like that you're going to want to add music to just make it more immersive now if you are a part of the mic'd up Cult, don't worry you can add music to your videos I'm not saying don't do that it can actually improve watch time on your videos by adding a montage at the beginning or the middle even the end of the video I recommend more of the beginning or the middle but the end can work too me personally I don't typically add montages at the beginning of the video like Jadon does or Deadrian Harding I like to put it in the middle I'll give them a little story in the beginning just like a little topic for example my recent video I'm working on I actually shipped out packages to like people that watch my twitch streams so after I add that I transition into the next storyline by adding a montage this montage will consist basically of everything that I shot throughout the day just to give a quick recap and then it'll start back over at the beginning of that day and show you you know the progress of the day I don't know that's just the way I personally like to edit there's a lot of different ways you can incorporate montages into your videos but that's just personally how I choose to do it so since I haven't finished that video I'm actually gonna give you the quick little montage part and how to add music to it one important thing to do about montages is actually either eliminating the dialogue completely or incorporating it into the music so if you are making a sports montage you want to incorporate the dialogue from the commentators underneath the music just so you could have some sense of like being at the game or watching it on TV and you could have it in a quick high quality reel. Now for a video like Canel's fight, I don't want to add the dialogue because it's just a bunch of nonsense going on in the background. So basically I'm going to be giving you a step by step of how I make my montages at the base level. I'm not going to give you the full tutorial, full blown edit. This will include cutting on beat, fading the audio in and out, and basically just how to add the music in general. But again, this can be applied to any type of video you make, not just montages. There are many different places that you can get music for your videos. I typically use Artlist just because it, you know it's royalty free i won't ever get copyrighted for any of the music i use but there's also this artist i use for my montages personally his name is scott pilgrim so i'm just going to show you all the demonstration with him but if y'all want to learn how to use artlist let me show you all real quick i like to use artlist because i'm able to choose like the video theme the genre if i want to exclude or include instruments the mood you know just kind of like set it down to the way i want it to so we can just first start off with mood let's just go with you know for this video it's kind of like wild let's make it epic fuck it now let's go down to the genre the genre we're going to use is actually we can do hip-hop a lot of times it will add these lo-fi and chill beats so i'm actually gonna exclude these because i don't really want that because i want something more you know upbeat so now we can go to the video theme the video theme is going to be vlogs and commercial because that's what we're doing we're making a vlog montage <laughs> so it'll give you a few options sometimes it'll give you just the instrumental version so let's go ahead and hear this one see this wouldn't be really the mood i want but sometimes you know you never know so i go further in the middle of the songs <laughs> For me, when I hear that, I feel like it's more of like a car edit, maybe. I don't know. That's just what I hear and like, that's what I envision when I hear that song. Okay, this song would be very perfect for the, the montage that I'm trying to do. But that's just an example. Like, again, I'm not going to be using Artlist for this one. But again, this would be the one I would use for this video. But uh, let's go ahead and go to the song I downloaded off of YouTube. Legally, of course. Now, if you do decide to use music off of YouTube, don't forget that your video can be claimed by that creator. And you could not earn any profit off of your video. But for the creator that I'm using, he doesn't claim his music. I've actually talked to him before. He said I could use his music in his videos as long as I credit him. So that's what I usually do in my main channel videos is I'll credit him down below. This song is actually pretty, you know, upbeat for the montages that I do. So this is what it sounds like. Okay. Yeah. Right, right here. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm a pop with the new flow. Commit. The perfect thing about this song is that you'll actually go back and hear these like four beats that happen right here. One, two, three, four. And that's actually good to cut on those beats. But before we get into that, I marked my in and out points. That's one thing you want to make sure you do is mark the in and out points so you can just drag it straight to the timeline and you have the part of the song that you want to use. So when you zoom in, you can actually see the waveforms of where the beat hits. So like right here, it'd be boom, 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 boom. I have it muted just so I can, you know, talk and understand myself talking, but yeah, it's there. All right, so I already did have certain clips that I'm using for my edit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select those and just bring those into the timeline. Now, if I play it, it's gonna look okay, but it's not gonna be okay. Now, if you wanna learn how to just add music under your video, there you go, that's a perfect example. Just add the music right under it. But that's not all there is to adding music to your video. Doing that is okay, I guess, but it's also not creative. Now, if you cut it on beat, let, actually, no, let me just show you. So I already know that these three clips are on the beats right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of them, deselect this. I'm gonna go ahead and drag them over. And I believe that's like where they hit is like right there. So now when I play it out, okay. now they're all on beat and guess what? It's more immersive. It looks a lot better. It's a lot mm, sexier. But you know, to get into the, you know, the detail of it, what you can do is actually lengthen the clips to the proper, you know, distance. So like this one is a little bit longer. So it starts about right there. What I'll do is I'll find another clip. I already edited these clips. That's why you see the little rotations on them. You can drag it. You can fit it to match exactly where you need it to. And then you play it out. Let's go ahead and add the last one just so, you know, for, you know, good measures. Drag it out a little bit. See, it's literally as simple as that. It's just cutting on B. And you also want to make sure you have a good part of the clip. Now I can actually just, you know, trim a different part of this clip right here. So it'd be right here. And that works just as fine too. It, it literally, as long as there's something going on, some action happening in that short little clip, it's gonna change everything. Now, if you just have a person just standing there or not doing anything and you're just cutting in between it, it'll work, but it's not as you know immersive like I like I've been saying this entire video. Another thing by cutting on beat is that you're keeping a pace in the video. Now the song will determine that pace depending on the BPM of the song. I don't know the exact BPM of the song, don't even ask me, but I do know the song is like a four beat song. So like when you're doing choreography, they do off of beats. So this is I would say this is a four. I could be wrong. Like I said, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just, I just edit. You know what I'm saying? So this is my understanding of the beats, and I'm actually gonna count them out while the song is playing, so you can kind of get where I'm coming from for like what I mean by the beats. Okay. One, two, three, four. 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 And as you could tell, every time the fourth beat comes, he switches the verse to a different line. It's like he starts over his sentence every time. So as long as you keep that pace in the video, mm, it's gonna look so good. So the last thing I'm gonna be showing y'all is actually how to fade the music in there's two ways that you can do it. it there's one way you can add like a constant power if you're in premiere pro or here it's just a crossfade uh there's different ways you can fade it i'll show you the first one is going to be the crossfade that i'm going to show you so what you want to do is go to the beginning of the clip and actually click it so this little green bar pops up press command t if you're in davinci and it adds a crossfade that could be the universal preset i don't know if it's not the right key bind just go ahead and check it in your settings because this this key bind also works for videos if i want to click in between these two and click, press command t it's going to add a, a crossfade is all there too. And as you can tell, the music fades in. And then if I go to the end, I can do the same thing. Press click the end, command T, and it'll fade it out. Now that wouldn't be a good area to fade it out, but you get it. Let me actually show you a good area. So right there would be good right there. You want to kind of fade it out at the end of their sentence or their statement and make sure it keeps the pace, the one, two, three, four beat. You want to make sure you fade it out on the fourth beat. Now, if you do fade it out in the middle of the four count, like within two beats, it's going to sound awkward. It's going to make the viewer feel like, Ugh. like I, I want to hear it. You know, it's not even. It's like OCD. Let me just show you what that seems like. Let me look this go. Embers, new yeah. My new See, it's just awkward. New, new what? New clothes. You got to, you got to like, you got to fade it out right. That's just one way how you fade out. Now I'm going to show you how to actually do it another way, which I don't really use that often, but you know, some people do, some people don't. This is more, you can like articulate it a couple different ways to make it, you know, exactly how you want it. There's actually three ways to do it. There's one way you just pull out this little slider and you can just, you know, fade it down and you'll have it more of a curve or you can have it start low really quick and curve straight up and be loud. There's also another way you can do it is just by clicking option, click on the little line right here in the middle and then clicking option, click and option, click again. Now you see it creates three little key points. These can be drugged down. This one could fade down a little bit and you can just play it. Okay. Hey, 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 hey.
that's not horrible now again it's basically the same thing as this it does the same exact thing it adds the key points but this is just more of a manual way to do it i don't usually do it this way to fade in because i'll just add a cross fade because it's the easiest thing to do or if i do decide to fade in i will use this because i can just you know drag it down like this and it's more specific on how i want it so yeah that's basically how you add music to your videos always important to do that if it's you know it needs it your videos need music that's all i gotta say also you did get a little bit of a hint of how i make my montages not necessarily the specifics of the video editing side but more of the cutting on beat type side which is like to me the most most important part number most because again that allows the viewer to be immersed into the video now adding all the special effects does make it look great too so you always want to try to add special effects you know make it look good pop different than everybody else's videos rather than just cut on the beat to the just a plain video imagine if i let me just take off the transitions of this video real quick now imagine if i played out the video and it looked like this now compared to this now it just looks a lot better does it not you gotta add that's just a little transform effect i'm just like moving it tilting it to the side zooming in tilting it to the other side that's, that's all i'm doing it's just in transform effects it's simple it's nothing complicated no plugins just straight key points that's all i have for this video i hope you all enjoyed i hope you learned how to add music to your video or and somehow get an idea how to make a montage but yeah don't forget to go ahead and follow all my social medias at duran medias and at the eric duran now because my main account for some reason got sniped so i just lost all my accounts i just give up on social media to be honest i, I stopped caring but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it helped out and if it didn't i'll just go fuck myself